Hello, and welcome to day 25 of building ML from JustBT. So let's get started. So, in yesterday's lesson, um, we had a look at explainability and interpretability. So, let's get started with day 25's lesson. Let's see what we've got. Day 25, scaling ML models. Distributed training using GPUs, TPUs, model, model parallelism. Code examples, training models on multiple GPUs using TensorFlow and PyTorch. Assignment, train a large model on a multi-GPU setup. So this will be good because, to be honest, Python's a bit slow when it comes to ML. But TensorFlow is actually written in C++, so that should um, speed things up. But yeah, it can be a bit slow at times. So it will help to distribute the workload onto the separate GPUs. And obviously with all the AI um, hype and like JDPT, yeah, uh, NVIDIA GPUs have determine max popularity so please give me day 25 lesson and let's see how we can distribute our workload onto multiple gpus with ai models like machine learning like neural networks okay concepts distributed training training machine learning models across multiple devices gpus tpus or cpus i don't actually know trans what does it say if they were um, it didn't actually say. So TPUs. Okay, that's new. Uh, to reduce training time for large models and data sets. GPUs, graphical processing units. Highly efficient for parallel computation, especially in deep learning. TPUs, tensor... Oh, oh so these are, wow, uh, specialized to tensors, uh, which is used uh, commonly in machine learning. Uh, tensor processing units, specialized hardware by Google, optimized for TensorFlow computations, enabling faster deep learning tasks. Model parallelism versus data parallelism. Data parallelism, splitting data across multiple devices and each device runs the same model on its portion of the data. Model parallelism, splitting the model it's, uh, itself across different devices, where each device is responsible for a portion of the model. Okay, so we've got two here that we can do. Okay, so code examples. Training uh, on multiple GPUs. I'm just gonna copy this. Actually, I'm not sure if it'll work for you with Curl I'm not sure how many GPUs you get. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have G uh, use G I, I think they do, to be honest. Okay, so let's see. Uh, strategy equals TF distribute uh, mirrored strategy. Okay, I assume this is across two. Um, so we're just having our sequential model with dense layer 128 uh, input uh, neurons. And then 10 output, we use softmax, like we can use on MNIST dataset. Extra and Oh, okay. Um, okay, then training on multiple. I'll come back to this one. Okay, we're not using it. It's forgotten about PyTorch. Uh, well, it's forgotten to omit uh, PyTorch. Training a large model on a multi GPU setup. Set up a model that utilizes GPUs using TensorFlow or PyTorch. Experiment with data parallelism and most of the time improvement compared to training on a single GPU. Today's lesson focusing on uh, focuses on leveraging advanced hardware, GPUs and TPUs to scale up machine learning models, making training more efficient for large data sets and complex models. Okay, I'm just going to ask, because um, like this um, this model is like fit for the MNIST data set. So please rewrite this code for it to be used on the MNIST data set. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it will work, but the past few times StrategyBD has been giving us some incorrect code. Okay, I'm not sure if it's finished. Generating it. Okay, I'll just read through this whilst we're waiting for it. So, while strategy got scope, okay, um, we're gonna fit the model. So, X ray and Y train. So, in with the MNIST data set, our X ray and Y train, our Y train would be uh, the digit, and the X train would be the um, compressed, like flattened image of the. Um, uh, like the digit, the handwritten digit. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just going to copy this again. Actually. I don't know. I, I can't paste it in, so I assume it's still... I haven't used ChatGPT today, so I've not I've not run out of tokens. Sorry, I don't know what is happening here. Okay, there we go. It's got the. <laughs> if we now try, right? If we go to GPT four O Mini. No, that's not seeming to work. Okay, I don't think we have Google Gemini at the minute, so... Uh, normally we just import um, MNIST, which is built into TensorFlow, and then we can split it up at dot .data dot um, .targets. So xtrain equals model dot .data, xtrain equals uh, model dot .targets. Okay, um... I suppose we can look up MNIST dataset built in uh, TensorFlow. Um, okay, let's see. Keras.ipyv. Okay, from Terrace and put layers. Oh, okay, um, okay, API overview. Okay, um, I'm just gonna paste this here so then we can grab the data. Okay, I'm just going to copy this, um, yeah, I'm going to copy these. Actually, we're not doing, yeah, we are, okay. Now let's run this and see, hmm, I'm all dot fit, x is not defined. Let's see what this was on about. Oh, it's X train and Y train. Okay, here we go. So we looks like the seam. I can't remember how fast the MNIST. I think it's pretty slow. So yeah, yeah. I think this is definitely much quicker as we're spreading the workload across the GPUs. I think uh, if you went back to the original video, you can see uh, that it was quite slow. I was, as you can see, the loss is going down dramatically. Uh, it's from 0.5 to now 0.06. Okay. So, yeah, that um, that just shows our uh, how quick it is, and that was the purpose of this lesson. And we trained it on the MNIST dataset. So yeah, um, that's all for today's video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, let's just see what ChatGPT did here. Um, might also just copy this into the next one. And see. I think it's the same. We just didn't uh, reserve any for validation. And let's see if we run it again. Um, our loss. Uh, Let's see if it's the same or it's less because um in your network it starts off i think at the default in tensorflow it starts off with random weight so let's see um if we can get better score or maybe slightly worse as you can see this is pretty fast so we ended 0.061 and this was uh 0.06 so yeah we did get a bit better on the second one and this took Oh, but this took uh, 33 seconds, whereas this one took 24. This may be because um, in the same code snippet we imported TensorFlow, TensorFlow takes uh, quite a while to import. So yeah, 
that's all for today's video so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye